Hello, everyone, and welcome to Light Language Messenger. And for those of you watching on the Great Awakening Generator, you're very welcome here. Thank you so much <laughs> for patience and understanding, dear friends. It's been quite, um, uh, well, what can I say, last since the 29th of September, our life has been quite um, uh, a roller coaster. Lots happening. And um, even when I thought I'm ready to come back um, and start doing the light language messages, my uh, body wouldn't allow it. So um, I've been doing some stuff on the Great Awakening Generator, but I'm barely manage I've barely managed that in the last few weeks. Okay. So if you are not watching the Great Awakening Generator, then I'll tell you what you don't know. Uh, last time I was on here was actually a month ago, I realized, because the moon is just, the new moon has just happened in Auckland about one hour ago. Yeah, maybe 55 minutes ago. And the last time I was here doing a recording was, um, yeah, on the last new moon. So, wow. They say once in a blue moon looks like it's once in a new moon. Let's hope that's not true, okay, for this channel. So I hope you're well. I know that it's been a challenging time and for many people in various ways. And I thank you for your patience and understanding, like I said, of my not being on Light Language Messenger. And um, so much is happening and so much has happened. And, you know, um, I never realized that when I said I wanted to um, complete my ascension process this time and that I, that, and that I wanted to clear the karma, that I'd have that much to clear. <laughs> We all, we we do and we don't. There are souls that don't have a lot to clear, but I didn't realize it would come at me in a way I never thought it before. But anyway, here I am, um, alive, well, um, navigating life like many people. And uh, what's been happening is, you know, I, I was on my project. I mentioned that and I came off the project before um, before it was finished. I couldn't complete that project um so that's the update really I came off the project and although I thought I'd get back into doing all the recordings and doing the light language messages I just physically did not have the capacity to do it and so I'm sort of I needed to recover uh from like 20 hours of traveling a week and um yeah and that's that's it it's almost like wow what was all that about right anyway so for the last couple of weeks, we've done the Words of the Light series on the Great Awakening Generator with Claudia Tidgens. And a couple of weeks ago, we invoked the Metatron dragons, the golden orange dragons of Metatron. Now, I, I felt after doing that, I really wanted to go back to those dragons and, and do another invocation of it. And I think what we'll do today is we'll do that dragon first. I was I had another plan and suddenly I realized we're going to do this dragon. I'm going to share my screen and you can have a look at the dragon. And I know that um, for, those, for, uh, for those of you who are thinking, hey, you know what? Why are we doing this again? I just feel, felt like the dragon just had so much to offer. And um, I just beg your, I beg your pardon. I just got to bring this thing properly into focus. So that's our Metatron Dragon, if you can see it. And I just, um, yeah, this card, by the way, is not in the Oracle card deck by Diana Cooper for drag the Dragon's Oracle card deck by Diana Cooper. It's actually in Amanda Ellis's um archangel metatron self-mastery oracle card deck so that's where i get the picture from um it's quite a beautiful dragon but it's quite um interesting and and, and although i know that we we've done it uh on on the light language messenger channel but i wanted to do one invocation out of Diana cooper's book and i feel this is apt for us to do now so be with me and i'm just going to bring up the dragon's information about this dragon i'll just remind us a little bit about this dragon and um and what it is doing for us how it's helping us here um at the moment in terms of our ascension process in terms of navigating life and you know archangel metatron um Archangel Metatron is said to be one of the prophets of the Bible incarnated into a dragon, uh, I beg your pardon, into an archangel. Uh, I think it's Elijah. Uh, don't quote me on that. I will check 
He says, one of those that did not die, physically die. And Elijah was one of them, one of the prophets that was seen by Elisha ascending into heaven in a chariot. So um, that's, the, that's the story of, uh, of um, a little bit of the story of Elijah. And, um, you know, they were prophets of old. I'm just going to look for, uh, <laughs> just going to find that dragon here in the book. If you look, in, look at this dragon, it's number 19 in that oracle card deck. And it is the fire element, um, yeah, and uh, in that card. And of course, it's called, this with the the deck, the it's called Dragon Strength. And I'm just wondering, oh, I was going to actually do an invocation from, I read what um, Amanda Ellis says, but I just, we can do that another time, I think. So let's do this one. So, right. Huh. Archangels, Metatr Archangel Metatron's Golden Orange Dragons, and I'm reading from one, one page, page 178 of the book. Archangel Metatron's Golden Dragons. Right, they are helping us on our ascension journey, literally. All right, I want to see uh, what what you need for us to do this. Um, so we're going to do a, an exercise to release our old beliefs and free up our ascension path. Now what you will need is a piece of paper and a pen and write down how you would be if you were an illumined ascended master, all right? And list any beliefs that prevent you from being one. And um, and then, yeah, and then just, just think about, think on that, all right? So you need to have your piece of paper and pen writing that down for you. Um, yeah, this dragon has been around for a while and I'm going to read it all because Metatron, Archangel Metatron's cloak is mentioned in the book and I think that's what we want. And I feel like we need to bring the cloak um, into the picture. Let's read. The golden oranges, orange dragons work at, on Archangel Metatron's team to accelerate your personal ascension and that of the planet, as well as an entire universes. At the cosmic moment at 11.11 a.m. on the 21st of December 2012, the light of source touched the heart of every sentient being in every universe. It was a trigger. At that instant, a movement towards ascension to a higher frequency was set off everywhere. Each universe is on a 20-year journey into a new dimension. Of all the stars and planets, only Earth has fallen behind and has to step up two dimensions. We are proving a little challenging as 7 billion souls crowd in to clear backlog of karma before the deadline of 2032. At the same time, we are relentlessly insisting on using our gift of free will. All right. Yes. Right, so that's it. Archangel Metatron is in charge of this progression. The more we call on his golden orange dragons, the more the more will arrive to support us. Helping our ascension journey. This is the next title. It is the dragons who help us travel through the dimensional levels. Millions of them, of every color, size and shape, from various planets and stars, even from different dimensions, are pouring forward now to assist with this current interdimensional shift. The golden orange dragons who work for Archangel Metatron carry the fifth dimensional ascension blueprint for us. They know the proposed flight path for every single individual to 2032. They offer your pro you protection, encouragement and inspiration and strengthen your willpower. They understand your gifts, talents and potential. If you need more t tuition, they can guide you towards special tutors who can help you. You only have to ask. They light your way as soon as they see you are ready. Then these dragons breathe glorious ascension light into you and this draws illumined masters, higher guides, angels and unicorns to you. They all work together to accelerate your spiritual journey. <laughs> Ask yourself what you need in order to accelerate your ascension. When the golden orange flame appears in your energy fields, they know 
you are also prepared and willing to help others onto the ascension path. You are a master. Uh, do you need to develop qualities to meditate more or to commit yourself to your path or to have faith in yourself or just to enjoy life and have more fun? Ask the golden orange dragons to light those qualities to you and to help you to embrace your magnificence. The golden orange dragons help you to dissolve the beliefs that hold you back. Almost every human holds them. Some light workers undertake to bring in beliefs from the collective consciousness, unconsciousness that are holding humanity back in the old age. They do this as an act of service in order to help the world by releasing them. Clearing beliefs that impact on their personal lives becomes their great challenge. Others are taking it on ancestral beliefs with the intuition or uh, sorry with the intention of dissolving them to free their entire family tree and for future generations. Archangels Met Archangel Metatron's golden orange dragons can really help you to clear this. So say, so take time to consider what beliefs you stop from being an uh, sorry take time to consider what beliefs stop you from being an ascended master. Any that are not in alignment with love, oneness, and your own divine magnificence need to be pulled out and cleared. Some are, gr are great thick cords linking back to past lives or even past collective karma. Others are more delicate or tenuous, but they, are all, but they all have an influence on your ascension journey. Then ask Archangel Metatron's golden orange dragons to breathe into them and help you to dissolve them. Archangel Metatron's dragons are peaceful warriors. They are the spiritual lights that patrol the universe, ensuring everything is as it should be. They teach humanity by example, demonstrating spirituality, peace, love and wisdom. At the same time, they can breathe fire and roar when it is needed. The Metatron cloak... The Metatron cloak gives you, or Archangel Metatron gives you his golden orange cloak when you, when your 12 dimensional chakras are awake. The energy of the cloak helps to keep them open and the dragons assist to keep, to, in keeping lower entities at bay. They literally chase away or burn up any ne negativity that is trying to undermine you. One of the most important gifts the Metatron cloak gives you is the desire and ability to reach out and help others onto the ascension path. When you wear the golden orange cloak in your energy fields, you can enter hollow earth, where, which is the seventh dimensional chakra in the center of the planet. You do this in meditation or sleep, and these glorious dragons will conduct you to the great pyramid in the middle of hollow earth. Here all the knowledge and wisdom of earth is contained. So when you are quiet and centered, you can soak in it or soak it in. In the center of the pyramid, you can align to the portals of that link to the, that link to the four ascension constellations and the planets, the Pleiades, Orion, Sirius and Neptune to draw light in from those heavenly bodies. Archangel Metatron's dragons will protect you on this journey that will greatly accelerate your ascension. Alright, let's do this. Exercise to release old beliefs and free up your ascension path. Write down how you would be if you were an illumined master. So I hope you have taken the time to write down that. My answer would be if I was an illumined master I would be like I like the energy of Merlin yeah master Merlin dragon master Merlin so if you're hearing noise in the background we had just been we just got a lot of rain coming at the moment uh, it's interesting well it's the new moon and also we've been experiencing what I call the mercury wind when mercury is about to go retrograde there's a very specific wind that starts to blow and flow here uh in my world i i know the mercury wind is different and so yeah it's kind of a, a high wave wind if i may say that so 
so that's what you're hearing so apologies for that so have you written down what would what it would be like if you were an illumined master ascended master i would i would be like merlin i would be like merlin he's my my mentor for an illumined master but then i would also like to be like archangel metatron too because archangel metatron has shown us that we are beyond the limits we were confined to you know elevating into the heavenlies and you know broad daylight in front of the another human being is something else and then list any beliefs that prevent you from being one and for me i'll guide you through this i feel like the belief that i don't amount to much will prevent me from um being an ascended master uh, not knowing my potential being unaware of what i actually do here on the planet you know i say i do a lot of things but do i do them and yeah i mean like we have a sense of what we're doing but a confirmation of the yeah that's right rose you do do that you do fly through the galaxies you are a dragon master you are a, you have been a dragon you have been um you have uh, unicorns that support you you do fly through the galaxies and the universes you've been through many things you know many parts of the universes and you know this is why i had the dark blue galactic dragon turn up in my space because it's got a very nature that you know it goes all over the universes and galaxies and it collects stardust and tlamalano slana slakita totofra so for me those would be the things where self self belief would be preventing me self confidence would be preventing me from actually coming into that space and so i really look forward to the archangel metatron's golden drag golden orange dragons helping me to dissolve those thought patterns so that i can live my life in the fullest potential right now that you've listed any beliefs that prevent you from being one imagine how big each of these beliefs is and see it shrinking can you see those beliefs that actually are not you uh they come from programming can you see them burning up so now draw a golden orange bubble around each one and ask metatrons good dragons to help you to dissolve them now write down positive beliefs that will help you on your ascension pathway oh so let's see right so our intention now is we're going to go back and look at this what does this dragon do we've just gone and we've gone and tried to dissolve the beliefs that keep us um they keep us captive and we are released have you seen the fire dragon have you seen the fire of this golden orange dragon it's burning those beliefs yeah I'm telling you, friend, go look at the other master. 
I smell a smell a chill a little little chill a and so Metatron's cloak gives you his Metatron gives you his golden orange cloak when your twelfth dimensional chakras are awake. Golam kafe henna kufa na kafe tato ah sakta tama teke do. Welcome you orange cloak. Welcome you golden orange cloak of Archangel Metatron. Ta 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 do ro na ra ta Metatron na melela ka to mara lechka na lechka ah. ジェルツルツルマレチヒオザツルツルケチュカオイラグトトライズラグトマルグジタテケドボチュカトテルマディドアリグトタテケチュカイチュカイチュカラレムレジョジュレチュレチュレチュレチュレチュレチュレチュレ